but also learn something really important about inquiry. And that is, if you're going to take it on, you're going to take it on in every aspect of it in ways that are real to the way people work in the, in the world in those disciplines. And I think that's really, really important about inquiry. So it's not uh, the, as soon as you unleash alternate forms of representing what you know, that you're guided and you're true, whether you're five or you're 55, and you find out what you don't know how to do, um, guided by experts who are in the field who are prepared to walk alongside you. So in terms of cultivating the intellect for inquiry then, there is a professionalism. Because you know it's something, no teacher knows how to do this because they weren't educated in this way. We know how to do it outside of our profession. We know how to do it, um, and I'll refer to the first speaker, so Guy, we do actually know how to do this in sports, right? We do know how to do inquiry there. We get feedback on our performance. If we don't hit that basket, we know, how, we know that we haven't hit it. We don't go and seek out somebody who says, well, just call me next week, and, uh, you know, and if you're still having trouble, I'll help you, right? We don't do that. Or if I've often said to my husband, he'd be the worst one who would ever teach me how to play golf, and for that reason, I don't. But he, um, he would say, you know, I'll be in the clubhouse, Sharon, just keep on practicing, right? <laughs> uh, about that point in time, he's got the club wrapped around his ears. But what we have is in other walks of life, in drama, in the shops uh, classes, in art classes, in phys ed, we actually know how to work with, with uh, inquiry and we've seen it. We don't have everybody doing the same thing at the same time. We couldn't possibly have. I've often said that's called the five-year-old version of hockey. They act, they're actually the ones that I think are on the puck more than four seconds because they don't know how to play the game yet. All of them are in the net when the, net, when the puck goes in the net. And all of them try to be on the puck at the same time in the game. Um, but we're, you know, that's not what we're on about. And so that sense of working together in a network of colleagues like-minded working things out, coaching each other, mentoring each other, supporting each other, and going over things with each other is absolutely essential. And then in the classroom, creating those places for discipline-based inquiry to live fully. And so what we know about learning is that people learn best when they're doing things that are challenging and of a deep interest to them. So I loved the little clip page where the little guy says right at the end, oh yeah, because if it's interesting to you, spend more time with it, and it's better. <laughs> Uh, we actually know he's hit on one of the f key fundamentals of learning. And as a teacher, I spent a whole lot of time designing work that was interesting for kids that would capture their hearts and their imaginations. And I spent a good period of my life teaching high school mathematics. So creating mathematics, not that was in a textbook, Trust me, mathematicians don't work like that. The answers are never in the back of the book. <clears throat> but working deeply into a space of deep and meaningful inquiry in math and physics is where I spent, I, and I still spend a lot of my time saying, how do you open it up? Because we know f around learning, the emotion part of cognition comes first and it's triggered first. The goal of all inquiry is understanding. Understanding of self, understanding of the world, understanding of myself in relationship to the world, and understanding that this discipline needs me as much as I need it. So deeply connected kind of place. <clears throat>